Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Scenario TV. I'm Joe and I'm here for the match review of Tottenham against AC Milan. Match just finished moments ago at the Allianz Arena, valid for the third place match of the 2015 Audi Cup. Milan go on to lose this one as well, 2-0 against Tottenham and walk out of this Audi Cup with 5 goals against and 0 goals for, which is of course worrying to say the least, even though it's preseason, not encouraging to see Milan not get on the score sheet at least once in these two games. Now, yesterday, of course, we were playing against Bayern Munich, a side that showed their dominance, their shoulder supremacy altogether, and I could understand having trouble against a side like Bayern Munich. But today, against Tottenham, with all due respect, I was very not pleased with our performance and really we should have done better altogether. We're playing a side like Tottenham that lost against the MLS All-Stars to say the least. Uh, and no, once again, no disrespect to any team, but Milan should have held their own today and push to score goals and push as a unit in the attack. Which, by the way, I saw so many times players up front, the forwards especially, trying to do it by themselves and having no support from the midfield whatsoever, not moving as a unit when moving forward. And that is a big problem that I've noticed in Milan's matches as of late. Uh, even defensively, we're moving as a unit. We're doing a bit better defensively, even though we're conceding many chances and goals to the other teams. But what I'm really surprised about this team is that we're not moving forward as a unit. And really, you could see that lack of support from the midfield. And that is what's worrying me. We started today with Montolivo in the middle, Poli and Maori on the side. So not the most creative of midfields, as if we have any creative uh, players anyways in that midfield. But you're supposed to kind of help uh, the forwards there generate chances and Against a team like Tottenham, you're supposed to do that. And we didn't, once again. Uh, we started off with Cherchi and Matri up front. Matri having some half-decent chances uh, where he could have done a bit better. But I won't really complain about him today because at least he tried. Who I'm going to be complaining about once again, however, is Cherchi. Because really, this preseason was a big chance for him to turn things around, to give some confidence to the fans to his teammates, to the coach, and once again, he has failed to do so. Uh, really, I don't understand what he's doing. People are suggesting that he should move away from Milan. I think so too. I really don't see him finding a place at this Milan team. Uh, Carlos Baca, Luis Adriano are of course the favorites up front, and Cherchi is behind several players. So I really don't see him having a place at this Milan team. And maybe he should consider a move. Really, I don't understand how he could change from that player that once was at Torino to this type of player. But uh, yeah, Cherchi has been disappointing altogether. What I enjoyed a bit was Suso playing right behind the two forwards, Matri and Cherchi, in that first half. Had some few moments of brilliance by himself. Great dribbler, doing some good things altogether. But once again, it's the team effort that's lacking there. And uh, you can even see some mistakes once again from the defense. Uh, besides uh, conceding so many chances to Tottenham in terms of goal scoring chances, you're just making way too many mistakes. Alex once again giving bad giveaways, too slow, not the type of player that you need in this defense at Milan. You need certainties, you need players that will win you games. And we need reinforcements in that defense, to say the very least. I liked how uh, Calabria played today. Of course, a uh, young player that's showing and trying his best. So that's always positive to see. In the second half, we saw the introduction of Carlos Baca once again. Coming on as a sub, he's actually showing some better things that some players have shown for the entire game. So it's... Obviously positive to see from Baca, unlucky not to get on the score sheet once again with that header that uh, missed by inches there against Tottenham. But uh, other than that guys, disappointing performance altogether. Not pleased by what I've been seeing today. And uh, once again, just a further comment on the midfield, Montolivo getting injured uh, once again and being sent to the hospital for that matter. 
Uh, don't know what's happening with him. He's supposed to be our playmaker in that midfield. And he's definitely not doing it for us. So Galliani, open up your eyes and look at the replacements that we need to make. Look at the signings that we need to make for the midfield, for the defense, and hopefully something for the forwards as well. Because the season is three weeks away and we need to make signings as soon as possible to fix this team. Because really guys, I don't want to sound negative. I understand it's still preseason. But what I have saw today against a very poor Tottenham side, uh, not by their merit, but I'm just saying in general, Tottenham is not supposed to be a crazy team that we shouldn't be able to handle with all due respect. But really what I saw today was very, very poor. And I hope that it doesn't repeat itself. One more preseason match left. Actually, there's two because we are playing in the Trofeo team. Of course, the annual uh, tro uh, trophy friendly tournament that is played before the season starts. We will be playing that next week on August 12th where we will be playing two matches, 45 minutes each against Sassuolo and Inter before the season actually starts. So that will be the last friendly test before uh, the competitive matches start. So let's see what we're made of uh, next week. But that sums up today's match review. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. Lots of comments yesterday after the Bayern Munich match. So I would like to see the same. Curious to see what you guys think of the match. And uh, what you think about certain players. Don't forget to subscribe to Rosenary TV to stay updated with everything AC Milan on a daily basis as we update you with the latest transfer news, rumors, match previews, reviews, and so forth. We got it all here to stay updated with the club. And I'll be seeing you later. This has been Gio Sangoff, Rosenary TV, and as always, Forza Milan.